Hello everyone. Welcome back to All The Nephiness. Today I am excited to be doing another process video and I am working with the Gossamer Blue Life Pages Kit. Yes, you heard that right. I'm using the Life Pages Kit to create a layout. I hadn't done this before so I'm really excited. And I do mix in a little bit of the main kit. Um, just a little bit. Uh, so basically what I wanted to do was create a little bit of a border down at the bottom um, using some stamps and I'm using different colors here um, but basically the stamp set here is from April and I really liked how it had um, like petals and stems and uh, little flower buds to create your own personal flowers and I really wanted to create something down here at the bottom of my page. So I'm using a, a bunch of different stamp pads that I've had um, and that I really never bring out. So I thought it was the perfect idea to not only make use of my stamps, but also of the poor little stamp pads that have been there waiting for me to bring them out forever. <laughs> and... Um, so what you're watching me do here is actually just stamp everything down and create this little bottom border, I guess you can call it. Well, I think maybe I was pretty much done with that. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is actually create my, my focus for my photo, and that's going to be at the center of the page. So I'm doing the packaging technique. And I did, I did this in my last um, process video and I had to do it again. I loved the way that it gave um, that sort of watercolor look and texture to my page. So I thought I would try it again with these pads. Um, it was a little tricky um, just because this yellow was, like I said, it's an ink pad. It's not a pigment. It's ink. So it kind of just was everywhere. <laughs> I tried to um, clear off my my uh, wrapping paper and it was still turning the rest of my colors yellow so because I you see me how there's still yellow left there so maybe it was just my fault. My water was yellow and it turned it into a peach color if you guys can see there but I still <laughs> I still put it on my page I figured, you know what, I already did it. <laughs> Let's just do it. And so I'm uh, doing this technique. Um, I've seen a lot of scrappers do it, and I see them do it all the time, but I had never really tried it. I had tried it before, but it wasn't something that I was, like, all that into. And I gave it a try the in my last layout, and I really, really enjoyed how it looked. So you guys can see how that yellow is still coming through. It's just making my water look so muddy. But I'm a total champ, and I'm totally just using it. <laughs> and I think finally I come in with some white. I clear off my watercolor paints, and I bring in some white uh, stamp. Sorry, I meant to say the white uh, pigment ink. So this one's a lot milkier and it was perfect to cover up some of that muddiness that I had created. And once again, it still totally was, the brush was left with that yellow. So that yellow was just killing my game that night. And I started off with this paper thinking that I could add a little bit of a tear above this um, little flower thing I added. And I just hated that idea. This paper was just way too dark for what I was going for, you know, considering that my flowers were so bright and vibrant. Like, at one point, I really thought I was just going to cover them all. But then I brought down the, pa the torn paper, sort of like under the, the, the flowers, and I really liked how that looked. And so I went ahead and grabbed... A better paper which just matched way better it added more to the brightness that I was going for and I used this one so this one is also exclusive to Gossamer Blue 
and they're super cute little triangles that are um, made out of, like, they're formed by polka dots, uh, and it's super cute. It's very, like, a very minimal look to the page, so I really, really liked it. And now, uh, actually, when I started this layout, I hadn't even had my photo picked out, so that's what I'm looking for here. I don't know if I should use, I wasn't sure if I was going to use this book one or one of myself. Here it is. So I ended up going with that one because when I decided that I was going to use the Life Pages kit, I wanted to include one of the cards that was really super cute and it was about work. And I took this photo back in December when I still had my super awesome white hair. I miss it. <laughs> and I also had, um, well, actually, it was like probably like the second week of work for me that when I had just gotten hired. And so I took this little picture on my break and I posted it to my private. Well, it's not really private. I have two Instagrams in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> so I posted it to one of my Instagrams saying, hey, just hanging out on my break at my new job. And that's the photo. So that's why you see me there. <laughs> And so here's the technique that I was going to use here that I told you guys about before. I'm using this paper, um, the black and white one with the triangles, to add the perfect cover-up to just the bareness that these photos at the bottom are creating. Um, I wish I had better stamps for color, like colored stamps. Uh, I feel like I have too many already. And I don't use a lot of them, so, you know, buying stamp pads isn't such a big ordeal for me. But sometimes when you really want to put them to work, it's kind of hard to when you don't have the right colors. Because um, you guys saw I use pink and silver for the stems of the flowers, so I was just going with what I got. Luckily, though, the... Ooh, and I keep saying this, and I haven't brought it out, but the Life Pages kit is just went it just went perfect with this layout so now I'm just trying to stick the edge here and I'm gonna add a little bit of what I added from that black and white paper to the top of my page as well I really don't know what I'm doing here oh yeah see I told you guys that's what I was gonna do so I didn't know if I wanted to leave the bottom as is or add something to it. And I felt like this layout needed something at the top as well, just to kind of ground in that, the whole page. That's just how some layouts look sometimes. It's crazy how sometimes you just know that you need something on top. Because otherwise it just, isn't, it just doesn't look balanced. And, or it might look like your photo's or your page is naked too. It's just weird. So, yes. Here it is. I'm adding one more layer to my photo. And I'm also going to be sticking it up on some nice thick foam dots. I'm bringing out the embellishments finally. And I'm going to be working around my photo. Um, uh, like I've mentioned before, I'm using the Life Pages Make Kit, but I'm also mixing um, the papers that are from the main kit. Uh, and um, I'm using this uh, scripted paper that's also the yellow striped one. And I'm taking some words that are, um, they're, sorry, they're three words that I'm taking out, and they're awesome good vibes. And I'm going to use that as my title. And um, before I continue on, I decided to add a little bit more color to what I had going on. And this raindrop paper just was perfect for that. Um, I think, oh, actually, I was thinking if I had used this paper previously, but I, I hadn't, actually. I think I used it for my 8.5 by 11 um, process that I have. Uh, on my YouTube channel, yes. Um, so yeah, basically this month there was a lot of um, rain theme uh, papers in the main kit, so that's why I'm a little bit confused. 
And what I'm doing now is just adding splatters to my page. Um, I felt like I needed a little bit of a hot pink since I added it to the back of my photo as well. So I'm just bringing in some hot pink, some more um, like turquoise colors. So basically I'm just using those colors that I used in the stamps down at my bottom border. And I'm uh, adding the same colors behind the photo. And I'm being very free with it. There's not much that I'm, um, you know, like trying to keep condensed because most of this middle section will end up being covered. So what you see me doing here is cutting up some um, foam and it, I'm not actually using the dots. I'm actually trying to take advantage of using it all because it's all adhesive and so I'm using the big pieces and I'm using that to create that uh, dimension that I want for my photo. And so I'm going to be cut, fussy cutting these words and I'm actually going to cut out a little bit of that just so that we can get on moving because I want to show you how I'm finally bringing out the Life Pages kit and this month it was filled with beautiful colors like complete colors everywhere I loved it and I didn't really use it towards the beginning of the month because um, I was like so excited to be using the main kit but once I you know used up most of what I had from the main kit I decided that I wanted to play with it and the ephemera pack this month was full of beautiful florals again in the same colors that you saw the cards I put on uh, each side of my page and it looks like now finally I'm gonna be adding that top border so um, I think I ended up waiting just to figure out and see if I really needed one or not um, but I decided that yes I did want one and I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it off and then keep working from there and I love how this looks that black and white paper really is very um, minimal you know it doesn't take too much from my photo in fact it doesn't I feel like it doesn't take any from my photo and instead it helps it so I'm adding two cards um, three by four cards on each side of my photo and sort of um, continuing on with that horizontal look to this layout. And uh, the one on the left hand side says whistle while you work. And I thought it was perfect for this photo because um, even though it was a selfie, I still look like I'm whistling and I super love it. And then on the right hand side, I'm using a 3 by 4 card that just has um, like uh, paint uh, brush strokes, but they're gorgeous. I love the colors, super love the colors. And as you guys have been watching me, I have been um, also including these florals um, on uh, the top right corner and bottom left corner of my photo. And actually, what I thought was really funny was that um, one of the girls on the design team as well, um, th this month without me knowing, um, for her blog post, she, she did a sketch. And her sketch is almost identical to what I created here. And I wasn't using a sketch. This was just from my own creative juices. <laughs> you know, like I did this on my own and I just thought it was so awesome how we were just like in sync with this awesome stuff. And she also used these florals. So um, I'm going to find the blog post and I'm going to link it to you guys so you guys can take a look and also take a look at the sketch that she posted to the blog. And uh, hopefully you guys could take on the challenge. But anyways, um, you guys have been watching what I've been doing. This is pretty much it. The final thing I do is add that sorry not sorry tag at the bottom. And in the close-ups you can see all the awesome finishing touches that I added. Um, it was pretty much all done there. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!